The 18 of Kyle Busch we're hearing got into the wall and here it is. How did it happen? Well, you can see all that debris. Just, we, we saw that earlier. We saw Ricky Stenhouse Jr. committed to the throttle. He went up the racetrack, but he didn't get up quite as high as Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch just out of the groove. And this is what we see with a newer paved racetrack. The outer groove just has no grip, Marty. And Jeff, this place looks smooth. It looks easy, doesn't it? But when you're doing 203 miles an hour, you're trying to get every little bit you can. Steve and I are sitting here looking at the damage. What do you think, Steve? Are you going to have to go to a backup car here on the 18, or is all that fixable? Well, you see the body damage. I think the body damage is repairable. The concern I have is when you look at the tire, zoom right in on the tire, the sidewall, the wheel, the lettering is gone, and there's actually some marks on the wheel. That tells me that it is significant contact. So before they worry about the body, this team is going to get underneath the car, look at the rear suspension, get underneath the front of the car, look at the front suspension, look at the chassis. They're going to have to decide that before the decision will be made backup or primary. If the chassis is fine, I think where they're going to stick with the primary and just improve the bodywork.